Let's bring in criminal defense attorney Mark Eiglarsh. Mark, uh, thanks for joining us today. Incredibly tragic ending to this story, although the investigation is ongoing. What do these authorities do next as far as determining a motive why this man decided to kill this amazing mother of two and teacher to many? Yeah, my heart goes out to the family. It is just the worst, um, most abhorrent allegations involved. Um, they don't have to establish a motive is the answer to the question. Uh, the good news is you really don't always know, and so the law then says you don't ever have to have a motive. A guy who allegedly um, did this has been to prison for 20 years. He may just like to do stuff like this. He may be that tormented. He may be that disturbed that that's his thing, but prosecutors don't ever have to prove motive, fortunately. You know, you've got to think about, um, you know, I know the conversation with the ladies on that number, top of the last hour, we're talking about this is a situation so many moms are in where they've got young kids, they take them to school, they try to get in their workouts, and in her case, her long run early in the morning. Uh, but any sort of habit or sort of trail that you do on a continual basis, I'd say it's five days a week, someone can see you doing that. In this case, he could have been lurking for some time and known that she did these runs early in the morning. We at least know he was lurking for the 20, 25 minutes before she entered sort of his web, if you will. Uh, the surveillance video did show that he was wandering in that area for quite some time before she ran through. That's correct. And if you believe what the police are saying, and there's no reason to doubt then, them, this guy is a predator. And so predators get out there and they look for people who may be vulnerable. And it would not surprise me if he studied her movement and then acted on it. He had a rap sheet. Uh, we know he went to uh, jail. He was serving 20 years um, for already carrying out a similar crime, um, aggravated kidnapping. Uh, you look back as a juvenile, he had a long record. Should this man have ever been walking freely in the streets? In theory, no, but 20 years is a pretty long sentence. I would defer to the prosecutors and the judge who signed off on that agreement. But what I don't like is that he currently has a bond. I don't think that that's appropriate. And while he's indigent, there could be somebody out there who somehow sees that this is a high profile case, decides to put down the 10 percent on the five hundred thousand dollar bond and he gets out. That to me would be a miscarriage of justice. I think the judge needs to revoke bond immediately. I would ask you what would happen next then. We do know that. Uh... He, as far as his represent, representation is concerned, he's been issued a court-appointed attorney, uh, has been enlisted to represent him. The judge scheduled a second court date now. That is expected Wednesday, uh, tomorrow, September 7th, 9 a.m. What happens next here, Mark? Well, he enters a not guilty plea, which doesn't mean that he's saying I'm innocent. What he's doing is he's saying, okay, not guilty is also tantamount or equal to not proven because we don't have any evidence now, and he does enjoy the presumption of innocence in a court of law, and then his court-appointed attorneys will work this case, as do I on all of my homicide cases, get all of the evidence, make sure that everything was seized constitutionally, and that they can prove this case beyond it to the exclusion of every reasonable doubt. They'll then either go to trial, or they'll work out some type of plea bargain down the road. Uh, we will be watching it all. Just an incredibly sad, tragic story um, that we have been it watching is. for quite some mm -hmm. time. And, and we know that after his arrest, even, he didn't even help authorities uh, find her body. They had to do it on their own. Uh, we'll be watching all of it. Mark, thank you very much for joining us on that. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.